In this video, we will understand about molecules of elements. Now, we know that there are so many elements. Okay? So, what is the difference between molecules of elements and molecules of compounds? This I will explain to you in a separate video. Let's first concentrate on molecules of elements. Now, normally the molecules of an element are comprised of same type of atoms. So let's say you have atom A and you have atom, another atom A. A could be anything. Say for example, helium. Okay? Oxygen. Oxygen is O2. Helium. So in these cases, what happens is that many of these elements are constituted only of one atom. So what happens is, that let's say you have helium. Helium consists of only one atom. Helium is an element and it comprises only of one atom. Similarly, argon, which is also referred as AR. Helium is referred to as HE. So these are basically comprised of only one atom of that element which is hydrogen in this case then there could be a second category which is formed by two atoms let's say oxygen okay so when you see the molecules of oxygen a molecule of oxygen is composed of two atoms. So you have atom 1 and you have atom 2. So when atom 1 combines with atom 2, what is formed is a molecule which is referred to as O2. But in case of elements, it is not that you know the atom 1 is of oxygen In both these cases, the atom was of same type. So if this was oxygen, this was oxygen. Here it was formed only of one atom, so there was no question of there being anything of two type. So in case of molecules of elements, molecule is formed only from one type of atom. It could be single, it could be dual, but the atom is only of one type, only one type of atom. So that's the property that molecules of element have. They are formed only from one type of atom. 